Hello my soccer universe to this year's Bundesliga jersey review and in a channel first I finally have Bundesliga jerseys back there. I, all of them I got in 2020. Seven in total. And yeah, I'm actually quite hap happy with these. I want to get a few more and you know, maybe double these two up to have for Champions League and so on as well. So yeah, uh, Bundesliga jersey review. Um, how did I decide which team goes in which video? Well, it's the same thing as with the others that I did so far. I took last year's standings and then I went one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one, and so on and so on. And then I divide them up. Everyone with a one is in this video. Uh, also means that there are only four teams in videos three and four, but that should be fine. And then to or further complicate things, I sorted them somewhat alphabetically according to how I see it. Uh, for each video, I then I decide of course to wear one of the teams that are in this video. In this video, I think I had two choices between Bremen and Bayern. I actually call Bremen Werder, as they should be, so they are on the bottom of the list. Uh, and I decided to go with the Bremen jersey because I like Bremen a whole lot more than I do like Bayern. So. There we go. But we will start in this video with Bayern Munich and we'll start with this home jersey that we've seen already quite a lot ever since the Corona break um, was over. Bayern played in this jersey and uh, they won the Champions League in it. So it's already a classic and I have to say it has all the hallmarks of a classic Bayern jersey. It is red as you want to have it. There's a little bit of white in there. I'm getting used to this T-sponsor, although it is a little bit asymmetric, but um, also fine. There is nothing really too much on this jersey. In fact, there's a really nice shadow striping in there. And on the match, there's, I think it's from a two-layered material. So it's, it's really well uh, classic looking Bayern jer jersey that um, I have to say, this is up there with some of the best uh, Champions League winning jer jerseys because of its sheer simplicity. The only thing I don't like is the sleeve sponsor because I don't think that Bayern needs to go uh, and uh, pander to the Qataris in a way. Yeah, but I have to say I really, despite it very simple and very, maybe others would wall the boring, but with this uh, faint shadow strapping in there, it's a really well done, nice jersey. That I'm gonna give eight stars. I do like this one. Uh, it is much better than what they had recently. Uh, nothing that I can say for uh, the away jersey. This just bores the you know what out of me. Um, the orange, yes, they had once an orange jersey with, with you know a, a away jersey with orange accents when Arjen Rom was at its height, which I already didn't understand. Why does Bayern need to pull some orange? You know your club colors. You clearly say it are red and white. So um, okay, put so make this orange into uh, red, and we're talking. Um, then you know monochromatic crest and so on. The Bayern crest does not is anyway. Uh, you know, it has only three because making monochromatic is not really necessary. And even the golden stars, yes, it's flew, it looks all nice, but to me, it adds too little pep to this jersey. And then you choose two tones of gray, and maybe a third one for the color. This is this is truly, 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 truly boring. I have had to say, and to add insult to in, in injury, if you look at the sleeves, they are uh like Arsenal look on the front but on, on the back it looks like raglan sleeves a little bit because they have this weird thing uh, happening uh, in the Adidas jerseys. It is not good. I really don't, I mean it's three stars because it's just so boring, so understated boring and Bayern is, you can say to Bayern what you want but Bayern is everything but boring. Uh, however they redeem themselves big time with, the thir with, with this third jersey that I get the th out. Um, the monochromatic grace is maybe the one thing I like least about it, but I really like that they take this lozenge pattern from the Bavarian flag and they also have in the in, in the crest and do something with it. You would expect a uh, kind of a dark black, not necessarily black, but a dark Bayern uh, third church, 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 and then pulling this lozenge pattern a little bit um, washed out. This is much better than the 
uh, those human race jerseys, which I decided I'll make a completely separate video on those human race jer jerseys because uh, they don't really fit any pattern. Not, uh, they're one-offs and, 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 and I think they deserve to be treated as such if I will ever get to that because there are many more jersey reviews that I have, to, have had to do. But uh, it goes that way, but I really like it. This looks striking, absolutely striking. Yes, I wish they could a little bit put the Bayern crest uh, better in there. I know they will not go for the Bavarian colors of blue and white because that would be 1860s blue and white in Munich. So they have to do it in uh, red and black, which is maybe a little bit of a shame. But other than that, I'm really in favor of this one. Uh, this is a nine star jersey, I have to say. Really, really, really strong look. And from the very top, we'll go to a newly promoted team in Bielefeld. A team that has not been in the Bundesliga um, as of late, but I think they have. They, they, are, they might be the team that has been the most promoted and then uh, almost always subsequently relegated. Um, Macron makes those jerseys and as we will see, they have a very distinct look with this diagonal um, sash but kind of low it's it's not a sash that goes over over, over the shoulder it always starts below the um, armpit and then goes which maybe on one side is a little bit underselling it on the other side it actually uh you don't need to interfere with the sponsor somehow so maybe uh it's not that smart i actually do like the look um I am not very set on Bielefeld. I'm not sure if black home jersey is really the classic Bielefeld look, but it might well be. Uh, I know that the colors are, you know, black, blue, and white, but I've, 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 I wouldn't necessarily expect a, a, a classic Bielefeld jersey to, to be black. Maybe I better look this up very quickly. Yeah, so the classic Bielefeld look should be a blue jersey. I thought I thought about this. So maybe a few points taken off, but I actually think Macron is doing fine. Not totally sold on the color either. Uh, it should go all the way around. Uh, but other than I think the, those are pretty nice jer jer jerseys uh, right up there. Um, I think eight stars. Even the sponsor doesn't look all the, all the bad. Same goes for the away jersey. Where I actually like that they separate out the... Uh, black and the blue a little bit to uh, kind of mirror the flag that's in the Bielefeld logo. Again, the color, I really like the black blue uh, half half uh, thingy, but let 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 go around uh, and, and so on. But uh, also, I actually really Bielefeld looks good in that, so I also give this eight stars. This, uh, they are the club's colors, there's a unique design, but um. And it looks good for uh, for that. Maybe I should have given the home homage a little bit less, but you know, uh, I'll I'll stick with it for now. The third jersey has the same design, but the orange loses me. Uh, I if you would have asked me, I, I would have gone with a blue home jersey, a white away, and a, th a black third, and this would be behave. You could have perfectly done this with uh, the colors that you have here. Uh, this one, yeah, orange. Hmm. The color is in the interesting. Eyes. I don't like all this slivering, as you know or, or, or already, and then you don't do much with this. You know, it's just as a shadow pad on this uh, low sash there. So uh, here you lose me. I, I give this four stars. But Bielefeld actually is surprisingly looking good overall. Frankfurt also finally looks like Frankfurt. Uh, this is how I expect a Frankfurt jersey to look like. Not not all black or uh, black and white and whatever. I, I really expect Frank Frankfurt to be red and uh, black stripes because when I grew up, this is what Frankfurt usually used to play in. Um, and I was never aware that they actually played a little bit more uh, in white with black uh, before. So yeah, they always have a little bit of identity crisis because the club's colors, they, you have red, you have uh, the white, you have the black, and you want to always get this in there. And last season they tried. My, they did an okay job, but I think this one looks much more like uh, what I would consider typically Frankfurt jersey. But it's not perfect. A, uh, the back is all black, which I don't understand if the back should be one color, it should be red uh, to start with. Um, and then I'm not so sure about this pixelated pattern in there. Yeah, it makes for an interesting look, but it's not perfect. And then the color, you know, the one that folds over on, on, on the back, not so ha happy about that as well. But I'm so glad to have Frankfurt. When I watch Frankfurt games, it looks like Frankfurt. And this is for me, uh, 
kind of overrides every everything and that's why I still want to give this seven stars also I would like to wish that the um, stripes are even with but you know that those are small potatoes in a way but uh, I'm happy to see Frankfurt back in that look I am sure they will not keep it for long uh, the away jersey is actually a pretty nice one uh, this is a typical polo shirt. I mean, if this was without sponsor and it, when it was released, it is uh, curious enough, it was without uh, sponsor. This is your leisure wear, absolute leisure wear. Uh, a lot from what Ice Roma is putting out, except that uh, unlike Ice Roma, they went for full on white. And then with, with some black and red on, on the side. I polo shirt but I actually really like this this is a really nice look this is a, a soccer jersey look that I'm missing a little bit and for that reason I'm also gonna I'm going to give this eight stars uh, it's also really nice uh, if there was a little bit more pizzazz on there um, I think I could uh, consider going even higher then um, from what I see I'm not 100% of that but they're still using the golden third jersey from last season the one with the uh, apple wine glass uh, pattern on the lower front you can hear all about it in my last year's uh, Bundesliga jersey re review it's all right but not much more than that and I gave it five stars which I'm gonna stick with here then we go deep in the black forest to uh, Freiburg um, after having a more typical Freiburg churches with black and red stripes I think last, last season now Hummel gives us white raglan sleeves which is a little bit weird first of all um, before we go into that the sponsor is still not quite right it is a local, you know, uh, Frei was at the edge of the Black Forest, so call, having the Schwarzwald milk with this Black Forest milk um, makes total sense. However, can we make the green, black, and the uh, yellow, white, you know, to make it fit? It, it, this is a sore spot for this jersey. Other, other than that, I think it looks all right. I do question the white raglan sleeves a little bit, especially if you attend the black collar, but it does not look bad. But the sponsor really, really mars this jersey. And so uh, it will be a five star jersey here. Uh, the away jersey has the same problem with the sponsor, but uh, here you go for black and then this quartered look uh, in gray, and then you have the weird looking bird. This is the one thing. Um, for me liking a team, uh, Freiburg is one of my favorite towns that I've ever been to in, Ger in Germany, but I never warmed re really up for the team. And it comes somewhat down to this weird crest with this weird look, scary, scared looking bird in a way. Um, I think it's it's a much stronger jersey, uh, but you know, there's gray in there and then you have the white that doesn't fit. If that white was gray as well, I think I would like, like a better six stars. Uh, I don't want to go much higher here. Uh, and then the third, actually, you know, I like yellow as a third color. I, I, I'm actually getting on board with it, although in Germany I probably would expect a little bit more white for that. Um, but here the sponsor of suddenly fits. Uh, here the sponsor fits very very nicely, it's the crest that doesn't, that doesn't fit, uh, which again, take an off color and slap a crest on it. Um, yes, it's McDonald's colors, so um, let's say five stars, yeah, five stars, that's where I'm gonna go with that one. And then we are at Verda. Um, and funnily enough, I realized that, yeah, Werder should play green at home, but I'm more used to see Werder in white with green. So that's why I actually went for this jersey. I wish I would have seen the green is a little bit more faded than it actually is, but uh, it's a really, really nice jersey. This green jersey, uh, I have to say they are choosing now, uh, Umbro chooses a green that's a little bit too more, much more on the forest greeny side, you know, much more, um, uh, too much blue in there. I actually like a more fuller green with my Werder jerseys. Uh, and then you have all these, uh, you know, fr the pattern comes, of course, from the crest, the, the diamond pattern, which is also a little bit put over. And then the white, the white is a little bit too much on, on the sleeves. I think if the green would go a little bit further down, it would also look better. 
Uh, but on the positive side, bravo, really bravo for the sponsor of just going with those clubs colors and not making a splash on there as well, although it would not have um, done to better. The sponsor was actually hugely contentious when it was put on the Werder jerseys. Uh, but yeah, I, I cannot say much wrong. I mean, it is a classic Werder jersey, uh, but I think it tries too much and achieves too little. Uh, for that, I also want to go. I was thinking of briefly seven, but I think it, I'm more comfy with a six-star jersey. And then the away jersey, this mint green sleeves don't do it for me. And then it's also worn with mint green pants. Uh, if this was a darker green like the one from the crest, I would like actually like it. And here you see the uh, sponsor logo in full color. It actually fits well overall with the church jersey, um, except the greens are a little bit off. Uh, that to me is too weak of a look and I'm sorry. Uh, four stars. I cannot say much more. Uh, and then the third jersey, which they wore in the relegation against Heidenheim. Um, yeah, for a third jersey. Again, the greens fit two together, then there's some red. So, I mean, it makes it nice. And the picture is, of course, the Weser and the stadium is on there. So, there's a little bit of that in there. To me, if I'm very honest, it's a little bit too much. So yeah, I also gonna go down the with the five star route. I mean, it could be a little bit more down here. So yeah, that's my opinion on the first five teams jerseys. Let me know what you thought about this. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, drop a line below of what you think about these jerseys, where you agree and disagree with me. And yeah, I'll come back with number two very, very soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye!